guys, I'm John and you're watching Birds of Cebu. So this is it, the first episode of Birds of Cebu. I'm finally video blogging. I've always been saying that I'm gonna start a video blog and I've been saying this for the past five years and I never really got it started. And you know what, I decided I'm just gonna do it. So for today, I'm going to be introducing the flock. Uh, just those birds that you usually see in my Instagram channel, at Birds of Cebu. And uh, here in my right shoulder, you have Charlie, my left hand, Pimmy, and you have Alpha and Omega and the perch. So Alpha being the female eclectus, yes, that's you, and Omega being the male eclectus. So on my right shoulder is Charlie, the green Indian redneck parakeet. So Charlie is the first of the four birds of the Cebu. I got him almost two years ago from an aviary called GBS Aviary in Talamban, Cebu. At that time, I saw him in the post in Facebook groups and I was curious as to what it would be like to hand feed a bird. So that time, I visited the aviary, took a look at him and he looked like a tiny dinosaur covered with a few feathers. And I said, you know what? And getting him but at that time I wasn't ready I did not have a brooder box I did not have a heat lamp and a syringe and food so I left the aviary bought everything I needed and the next day I went back and bought Charlie so Pili here is a green ape lorry or also known as a coconut lorry and I got Pili during a pet event in Park Mall where there were actually four other green ape lorries I asked my friend Brad to help me choose among the four birds and what Brad did was he put his hand on the cage and he waited to see who among the four birds was most curious than scared and that's Pili. So Pili is very smart, Pili is very uh, curious, naughty at times. Uh, he can't be placed with other birds because he can be quite a bully and uh, if you can see he has a bent toe. I'm not sure if you can see quite clearly. There's a bent toe, so he has a deformed foot, but that doesn't stop him from being who he is. Uh, among the four birds, he's the most playful and most attention-seeking, and also very reactive to everything that uh, I do or everything that I bring. He always wants to check it out. Alpha and Omega are the most recent addition to my flock in Birds of Sea. I got Alpha when she was three days old because her parents refused to feed her and her sibling before her actually died from starvation. Well, Omega here I bought from Jolly Bay Aviary because I wanted Alpha to have company in the future when she is no longer um, always able to come with me to wherever I'm going. And uh, both of them, I'm happy to say, are actually pure subspecies called both uh, Vosmeri subspecies and this is indicated by their difference in color and size. They're the second largest eclectus parrots in the world. So I started Birds of Cebu as a video blog channel to advocate responsible bird keeping in the Philippines. And also because I wanted to show people that birds more than just being beautiful creatures that you put in cages. They have personalities, they have identities, and they actually can give you a wide range of experiences if you just spend the time and effort to understand them better. I look forward to seeing everyone in our future episodes. We'll be featuring visits to different aviaries, uh, certain tips and tricks perhaps, and even our reviews on certain bird products that you will be using in the future. So thank you for joining us and subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram at Birds of Cebu and on Facebook at Birds of Cebu.